All right, we got dispatched to a dog bite. This sounds like a 60-year-old male was bitten multiple times in the groin west of the bridge on the levee. So it's got to be down. So this might be in Camp Pollock, dude. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Uh, this area is heavily populated with homeless people. Fire dispatch truck. You can confirm PD if we have two separate incidents or one. We spoke with each patient. One's a dog bite, one's in the unconscious state. Dispatch truck, Medic 15, engine 14. Is the dog still on scene or is it? One of the dogs are mellow because the owner's there now. The three dogs were on a chain and the guy rode too close. Dogs jumped on him. Two homeless guys ran to his rescue. One guy stabbed one of the dogs in the face and the dog? side to save the guy who was getting bit by the dog. Again, one of the guys who was running to the rescue got bit somewhere in the lower leg. I'm just looking, just looking. We we'll get you cleaned up. So there was a guy riding his bike um, down the bike trail. This is just a public bike trail. Got attacked by a pit bull that belongs to a homeless person. Two other homeless people went to help the, the guy riding his bike, and. Uh, Sounds like they stabbed the dog, and then the too. gentleman that was on the bike fled the scene, so he's gone, and now we just have our our guy here. Most of his bites happened to be in the head, so you guys want to ride? he had a few on top of his skull, and then another yeah, one on his cheek. Um, none of them look very deep or that serious, but he is obviously in some distress, and we're going to take him down to the hospital to get further evaluated. The patient down there. Do you guys have a patient? Yeah, yeah. There's a guy up there with some dog bites to his leg. Okay. And that's, uh, just go north and then take the levee west. And there may be one other uh, patient, so we're gonna we're gonna go check it out and uh, we'll update from there. What's up, boys? I'm on three. Okay. Hey, my friend. Med Thank Medic Twenty's gonna clear out of here. Okay. Is he, is you, is he, is he, is he a patient or not? He's got he's, okay. he's got good. a puncture. Well, if uh, let's go sit in my car. Sit in the front bumper. Yeah. I, I, um, he's he was bit in the leg. Looks like a very mild injury. He's he, he's refusing medical transport, so we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to take his vital signs, wrap it up. We're we're, we're advising he should go seek uh, go seek medical attention just because you know that dog probably doesn't have any vaccine. Our medics here that are on scene were able to just do some basic bandage wrapping just to kind of um, just general wound care for it, and I believe they're going to see if they can get more medical attention and see a veterinarian. All right, we're going to clear. Okay, let me go get the dog. I you. Are you the Okay. Yeah, I need okay. it. Yeah, me. Bring it. Oh, Bring it. Sir, I need it. We're, we're, we're not doing Bring this. Bring it. Bring it. We're not doing this. He hurt me, dog. Come on, you can't came up here. This is a freeway. Hey, hey, hey. We're not doing this. I saved the man. You're dead. The drama continues. He's showing up. He sees his dog is obviously injured. He's gotten bit. There's another guy got bit in the face. So obviously tensions are high. A PD is here. They're going to follow up, and also animal control um, is going to take take uh, medical attention for, of that dog um, and see if they get to a vet.